Okay, guys, so we're going to take up this question here, Unit 2, Handout 2. It's question number 17, and I've got the uh, drawing right here in the corner for you to see. <clears throat> 20 ohm capacitor, 40 ohm inductor, resistor unknown. It's asking for the impedance, and guys, we aren't going to be able to calculate the impedance with an impedance phasor diagram because I don't have enough information, but look, it's 200 volts and 2.5 amps. That means I can calculate my impedance using Ohm's law, okay? Z for any circuit is going to be E total over I total. And so it's uh, 200 over uh, 2.5 amps, okay, which is what it says right here. And 200 divided by 2.5 equals 80 ohms, okay? So that's sort of step one, okay, guys? 80 ohms okay but now we're going to try to calculate r unknown okay so i'm going to use phasers to try to figure that out and the, so i'm going to start to draw the phasers now i don't know how big r is but i do know you know it's in phase with the current so this is r and i don't know how long it is and the next phaser i'm going to draw is the inductor xl and it's 40 ohms Okay, there's the inductor there. There is XC. It's 20 ohms. Okay, which means that X here is 20 ohms. Okay, it's going to be 40 minus 20, right? And here's Z. Z right here, which we just calculated. It is 80 ohms. Okay, so now we're going to calculate R and... Uh, this is a right angle triangle. So this short side is going to be this squared minus this squared, square root. Okay, so R is going to be the square root of 80 squared minus 20 squared. And if I calculate that, oops, yeah, it's 80 squared minus 20 squared. 80 squared minus 20 squared equals root equals, looks like it's 77.46. Ohms, okay, 77.46 ohms. Phase angle, well, it's going to be the opposite over the adjacent, inverse 10, 20 over 77.46, inverse 10. If I do that, 20 divided by 77.46 equals shift 10 equals 14.48 degrees. Okay, 14.48 degrees. Leading or lagging? Here's the current. It is clockwise. This circuit lags. Okay, hopefully that helps.